Hello friends. Today we are going to learn the very important topic in stereochemistry, which is molecular dissymmetry and paraptical properties. Right? In this topic, we are going to learn about a linearly and circularly polarized light, then circular bifrons and circular dichroism. Also, we will learn the both curves we are, uh, which is ORD and CD curves, quaternary effects, which is very important, and its application. In that application, we will also learn about the octant rule as well as the axial alpha haloketon rule. Also, we will solve few examples, right? And uh, that example is again very important for the competitive examination. Within two minutes, you can able to give the answer, right? So I will take the help of uh, our PowerPoint presentation. This PowerPoint presentation is made by uh, Dr. Sharad Pati, who is our friend, and uh, she has made this, right? Hope you can see this. See, we learn first the molecular dissymmetry, right? A molecule which does not possess plane of symmetry or center of symmetry and alternating axis of symmetry is called as dissymmetry. May you will have the question, what is mean by symmetry? What is mean by asymmetry? And this dissymmetry, right? So in next slide, we will explain what is the difference between this symmetry, asymmetry, and dissymmetry. Also, we we'll learn in chiroptical properties. In order for a molecule to exhibit circular bifrance and circular dichroism, it must be distinguishable from its mirror image. Agar mirror image non uh, uh, superimposable jab hoti hai, mirror image jab non superimposable hoti hai, then we used to call it chiral molecule, right? So, an object that cannot be superimposed on its mirror image is said to be chiral, and optical rotatory dispersion and circular dichroism, these are the known as a chiroptical properties. Right? Let's learn about this symmetric, asymmetric, and dissymmetric molecule. See, in symmetric, asymmetric, and dissymmetric, Hope you can ever see the all slide. Right? See, there are three molecules. In first molecule, you can see carefully any element of symmetry present in the molecule. Maybe that that symmetry, it is plane of symmetry or center of symmetry or axis of symmetry. Right? So if there is a present, that molecule is symmetric molecule. Here is the example which we have taken is H2O, right? So this is symmetric molecule. What about asymmetric molecule? Asymmetric means does not have any element of symmetry, right? So this is asymmetric. So yahan pe axis nahi hai, plane nahi hai, or uh, any, any kind of symmetry is not there. What about dissymmetry? Dissymmetry mein यहाँ पे एग्जांपल जैसे हाथ का एग्जांपल देते हैं जैसे हमारा फेमस जो बुक है ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री जिसमें हम पढ़ते हैं क्लेडन वाला बुक तो क्लेडन में भी हमेशा यही एग्जांपल देते हैं हाथ का ठीक है सो लेफ्ट हैंड इज अ मिरर इमेज ऑफ आवर राइट हैंड राइट एंड दैट इज सुपर इम्पोजेबल ऑफ इच अदर दैट्स वी कॉल्ड एज इन बट सच अ मॉलिक्यूल which is not present plane symmetry, will not have center of symmetry, but there is a possibility of axis of symmetry. Such kind of molecule is called as dissymmetry of molecule. And there is necessary is optical activity. It has to show activity, right? So we have to study today 
the molecules it shows the dissymmetry type of nature right so how we have to study using the plane polarized light right so what is mean by plane polarized right uh, light there is, will be the light source and that light source is always available on all directions when it's passing through the polarized light or this is polarizer so there will be rotation either on left side or on the right side right so this is called as plain polarized light and depend on the medium it will be rotated either left side or either right side so now there are two types which is linear polarization and circular polarization so linear polarization means this is a vector quantity so there will be a electric field vector changes its magnitude sinusoidal in a plane along the direction of propagation right so in this linear polarization see direction is there but only crest and troughs are there right is simple like a wave okay only one direction it which is the light is passing right so it is called as linearly polarized light what about circularly polarized light so circular polarized light has also the direction right but either it will move like this see here so this dotted line is like this see how is moving okay for this 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 dark line is also moving like this okay so again is going from one direction to another direction right but the path is circular so there are two types one is linear polarized light and other is circular polarized light so we'll learn detail in circular polarized light when circular polarized light is uh, polarized by anti clockwise direction right you can see here like this okay so this is anti clockwise or is called as left circular polarized light or in our syllabus they have given the notation which is lcp means left circular polarized light and this is again the right circularly polarized light see this is right circularly polarized light. this is clock clockwise direction right so circular dichroism is the differential absorbance of circularly polarized light means left circularly polarized light and right circularly polarized light by an anisotropic medium is called as what type of medium anisotropic so now the term which we have to learn is circular by represence okay so circular by represence which is it has two phenomena one is circular by represence and other is circular dichroism so there are some math mathematical rotation left and right and l not equal to n and here is kl not equal to r l and r is nothing but left and right and n is its notation okay so it causes optical rotation and dichroism causes elliptically polarized ray anyway these are the mathematical term it will not help to us we'll try to understand what is the difference then circular dichroism and circular by represence are caused by a symmetry of the molecular structure of matter the optical activity of solutions of biological macromolecules provides information about the structural properties of the macromolecules what is mean by macromolecules such a big type of structure right polymer is nothing but one type of macromolecule highly molecular weight type of structure so when molecule is in bigger size then generally we are using this cd type of uh, 
technique identified then what about the circular beam direct beams again the same some material possesses a special property the two circularly polarized component has different refractive index as we have learned in last slide about the circularly polarized light which is right circular right side and left side okay means rcp and lcp that we can already learn so when this light is passing with the nickel type of prism then that light when moving circularly moving with anti clockwise direction then we can call this rcpf and uh, sorry clockwise direction then rcpf and the anti clockwise is lcpf great these are the actually terms okay how it looks the cd and ord curves uh, ord is a technique in which optical activity is due to the rate of change of specific rotation with wavelength of light okay here in this type we have to learn what are the applications of it okay the, how the ord curve is looks like you can see here okay here you can see uh, carefully that one ord curve is at positive side and other curve is at negative side okay i will try to write down let's wait yes okay so the see here this is positive side and this is negative side okay so it looks like almost mirror image of each other okay but in or the the instrument which shows such kind of effect and here it will show these are the reading it will shows the wavelength okay wavelength of that okay yaha pe diya hai dekho 400 to 460 nanometer optimal for chiral detection with the help of cotton effects so the water applications of cd and ord is related to the cotton effects that we are going to learn in the next session right so in this cd and ord type of application why this is important because in cd and ord uh, this curve will give the idea with the help of cotton effect to identify the functional group position of the functional group and determination of its configuration such actually in configuration to identify the configuration of particular compound is very difficult task in chemistry right that's why in stereo chemistry those who are working in stereo chemistry for them uh, will not understand how to identify the compound whether it is from uh, in liver rotatory or dextro rotatory type of compound or not right so that's why uh, this cd and ord curve will help to identify the exact type of compound and you know when uh, leo leo su suppose leo compound is uh, biological active theek okay. uh, hai same time the same dextro compound okay or other side of that compound or uh, you can say other isomer of that compound is biological inact right so there is a possibility that we have to uh, clear understanding of whether our compound is exactly the what rotation is there okay so that's why this technique is very important for as the application point of view okay in cd and ord curves in application there are two types of rules okay 
one rule is based on the sector rule and other is based on the LCC rule. Okay. Uh, in sector rule, we are going to learn about uh, uh, both rules, which is alpha axial halocaton rule and other is quadrant or other way we used to call this octant rule. Right? So out of this all topic, uh, these two rules are very important. Right? And these are the application of quaternary effects. Or these are the application, applicative rule of and this CD and ORT curves. Okay, so let's start. Uh, and what about helicity rule? Whenever atoms or groups are present in a molecule containing an achiral chromophore, achiral chromophore, that is important. Perturbation of the electronic transitions of the chromophore will be sufficient to generate chiroptical properties, that is, quaternary effect. So, a chiral chromophore agar hota hai, so it will act as a quartan effect. So, how to identify the quartan effect? How to use the axial halopatent rule and octant rule that we will learn. Also. Okay. Then, now uh, we will go towards quartan effect first and then we will solve a few example of alpha chiral rule as well as Important effect. First, we'll see uh, this about the curve. Okay, uh, this is negative excitation and positive excitation of chiral. When the curve, you can see this is positive side, this is negative side. Again, this is negative side, this is positive side. But in short, this whether this is positive or negative, this point indicates that. The maximum wavelength. Maximum wavelength. Same here. This point indicates that maximum wavelength using the ultraviolet. Okay. Same compound it will show in circular dichroism. It will show such kind of curve. Okay. And now where the pattern effect will come when. Um, the graph will show this positive value, then we'll call it as positive pattern effect. And when graph will show such kind of negative values, then we can we have to call this negative pattern. Okay. Then why there are two curves, which is depend on the uh, the axis, right? So. Let's learn, we'll solve a few examples, then you will actually realize why there are two positive peaks and the two negative peaks are there. Okay. So in short, um, the quartan effect is called a positive of the optical rotation, then first increases, right? So this is, this is, okay, this first increases. As the wavelength decreases, that means positive quartan effect curve as it speak in the longer wavelength region. Yeah, okay. so it's a maximum right. While it is called negative here, if optical rotation first decreases as the wavelength decreases, and this phenomenon was discovered by French physicist and named is Potter. Potter effect to bola jata hai, is a reason. Potter nam ka hai bandha. Is he was a scientist. Great. Let's try to learn. Uh, suppose we'll take this big molecule. This is the why it's not moving. Yes. Just to note. Okay, so the, the, this is one molecule. You can see in this molecule, this alpha beta unsaturation is there. This ketone having alpha position, there will be double bond. When there will be reaction with lithium and NH3, 
there will be a reduction right so this is the reagent for the reduction then there will be a uh, reduction on this position and this hydrogen will go at down side right okay so this is the one thing in other side the same reduction is there in presence of ruthenium instead of lithium and ammonia here they have used the ruthenium type of reagent for the reduction and the same double bond will give the reduction and it is on above the plane okay so there are two types of molecules now how you will identify so when will pass uh, uh, will take the spectra or will when we use the this cd type of uh, instrument then you will understand it will show the quaternion effect which is in positive and the same time it will give the negative quaternion effect okay so based on this plot we will understand this hydrogen is above the plane and this hydrogen is below the plane although this is uh, on the chiral uh, center right on both places you can see this is the chiral center so this bigger molecule will show some chirality some optical property and based on this optical property and optical dichroism we can able to identify whether that hydrogen or that reduction is happen at which position and what type of uh, compound will get right so these kind of applications are there we will solve few examples in the next session okay see you in the next session bye